Finally, we're here. Time Twisters, Abigail Adams, Pirate of the Caribbean. Now, the summary basically goes like this. We all know Abigail Adams, the great uh, American first lady. Well, technically, second lady, because she was the second president's first lady. Of course, we just call every president's wife the first lady, unless they don't have a wife, which has not happened yet. Now, back to this. Abigail Adams is all like, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and do what I want to. And if I want to do what I want to, now loads of things will be weird. And I would like it that way. And so that happens, and Abigail Adams is all like, yeah, I want to be a pirate. And she's all like, how come I'm going to go to pirate time? So, oh, wait, there's a basket here. And Lincoln jumped into something. So, jump. Oh, I'm in pirate times. Yay! And that's pretty much what happened. And then John Adams, the second person in the United States who lived in the under-constructed White House, which was not ready to, live, to be lived in, he was all like, where did my wife go? Also, he didn't remember her saying something about wanting to be a pirate. And so with that, he basically got help from two little kids in the 21st century, and they're all like, sure, we'll help. That happens. They go in. And then they're all like, hmm, when was the last time you saw her? In the laundry room. And I still need clean stockings. And they're all like, the basket. Lincoln jumped into a cardboard box to get back to his time. How about we jump into the, car into the basket? And then she did that. And she was gone in pirate time. yippee ki yay And then Doc, oh, Abby went in. Doc came later. And that happened. Abigail Adams just dressed up finally as a man would. Because pirates do not allow men. And she did not know that. That happened. And then finally... Well, finally, loads of other things started happening. Like, the fact that they finally went to the pirates, and Abigail uh, signed the Pirate Accords, basically a bunch of laws that pirates have to sign to be part of a pirate ship. And, well, the next thing they can do is basically wait them out and of course other than that they would probably would just have to wait until abigail um, abigail adams gets a sergeant or something amount of double of eight a piece of eight as it's called which is pretty darn expensive and so that happens they leave but they don't have time because still i mean a few days and now that she's a pirate, she's all like, Oh, I do not know anything about sword fighting, and this is very, very dangerous. What are we going to do? I don't want to ransack an English ship. It's a terrible idea. And, yeah. So they're trying, so Doc and Abby, they're the ones who try to rescue Abigail Adams, but are they going to be the ones that need to be rescued? Most likely. Because they themselves are captured, and, I mean, look at the state of them. Look at the literal state of them. When, when they're captured, look at the state of them. They look like this. Well, they're all like rats, rats, rats. And that is the terrible, that's terrible to be honest. In fact, that she even tried to challenge the captain. And she's all like, I'm doing this on purpose. Let's turn this whole pirate ship into school. And everyone's all like, are you crazy? We're pirates because we hate school. Now. You go ahead, and anyone who votes for her will basically go down with her. So who is voting with her? Me, me, said Abby and Doc, and they're all like, traitors! And then the cook is all like, welp, here's the oops, and then he goes ahead and throws everything onto their faces. And they're all like, throw him in there too, he's a terrible cook! Because apparently the raisins and the biscuits are actually weird stuff. I'm not going to say anything about what it is, though. It's moving. That's what I'm going to say. The raisins are moving. That happens. They're all marooned, but they take a barrel with them. And then they're all like, what are we going to do now? Aha! I have an idea. I'm going to jump into the barrel. They do. And they end up back in John Adams' second presidency time. Whee! Bum, ba, da, ba. And then, they're, and then uh, Abby and Doc are just going to follow with them. But then this happens. The pirate captain comes in and he smashes the barrel into pieces. And he's all like, where are they? Bring them back! And of course, they're marooned there and the pirates try to kill them. But then they realize their ship is under attack. They're like, screw those kids. Let's go get a ship. Because it's under attack. The British weren't not in range yet. Well, not exactly. That happens and they're all like, wow. 
what now, people? What now? What are we gonna do? Can we get pizza here? That's literally what she said. And then Abraham Lincoln's all like comes here and says, All right, now here are the words you have to speak. Remember the ladies. And yeah, she says that. Remember the ladies. Happy that is. And then, well, they're gone. Poof, back in their time. Lincoln's back in his time too. And that's pretty much all we have to say. Until, of course, the next book that comes out, which is this one. See you guys soon and shout out. Peace. Boo.